What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We have an addition to an SNB tank that we are installing and if you guys are interested in installing a transfer pump system onto your SNB fuel tank, we're going to show you how to install this sweet setup so you can pump fuel out of your tank into whatever you want. Alright guys, let's check this out. Alright guys, thanks so much for coming back. Make sure to stop through, hit that like and subscribe. We are back today with an install. We already showed you how to put the SMB tank in your Super Duty, but we have not showed you how to install their transfer setup. That is something you can add on to the purchase of your SMB tank for those that are needing to pump diesel fuel out of their tank into generators equipment implements whatever you guys need diesel fuel for this will actually allow you to pump out 40 gallons of your 60 to an outside source and will leave you a little bit to get to a fuel station with 20 gallons left i think you'll have enough to get where you need to go we're going to start off today we have already installed everything into the smb tank we've already got it mocked up set up for how we're going to install it have the fill hoses and the vent already got the fuel pump installed this particular uh, smb is the 60 gallon there's our fuel filter lower fuel filter mount um, if you guys are wanting to do the conversion, HSM has a excellent setup for the lower retrofit and using an aftermarket tank. So if you want, uh, check that out. We have uh, install going for that. Now on this here tank here at the top, we have this 21 mil bolt and it is threaded into a pre-ported hole that you will have to drill out. Now we jumped ahead and did that prior to installing the fuel pump in the tank. Uh, what I wound up doing was these plastic caps that come on the tank, I wound up holding underneath this hole. I caught all the plastic shavings and the tool we wound up using was this right here. It fit absolutely perfect did not hit the threads whatsoever, I would highly recommend that you use this bit. Like I said, I just cupped underneath the hole and was able to successfully capture all of the shavings. One of the things in the kit that you're gonna need first off is this draw straw. They provide you uh, with a pump, which comes with wiring uh, in, in the kit over there, but all the other components we're going to use after we get the uh, draw straw installed and the tank almost up and ready. So one of the things we're going to do before we install this all the way in, we're going to have to push it down in there to get past the plastic lip. But don't forget to put some pipe dope or Teflon sealant and get a 15 16 wrench to go ahead and tighten this in. This fitting will turn on you so that you can index it accordingly uh, to the hose that we're going to install onto this so that when we put the tank up in, we'll have this running over the frame and we're going to show you how it's going to go up into the bed so that we can have this set up upstairs. And if you're going to be using the pipe dope or the Teflon sealant, make sure you get one that is going to be approved for liquids. This one is going to be good for solvents and corrosives, gasoline. So make sure you're going to be using the right stuff because you don't want to wind up with any leaks. All right, so I have went and put on the yellow tape. You got it all installed on there nice. And I'm going to install the tube, the draw straw into the tank. Now, this is gonna turn, the straw and the fitting are what is gonna screw into the tank. So, just get it started. I'm using a 15 16 wrench. I'm pushing down on this fitting while I'm rotating it, just so I can get it started with that tape on there. It's going. Okay, it's starting to snug up, I think. I think I'll go one more flat right there. I like that. 
like that. Pull this little excess piece of tape off. And then our, our fitting is gonna be sitting just like that. All right, here's the three foot section of hose that they provide. This is going from the tank up over the frame into the bed and to your pump. All right, so this is a 7 8 fitting and it's flared so we're not gonna have to put any uh, Teflon tape or anything. And this fitting is gonna spin, this fitting is gonna spin on this line so we'll be able to twist the line into the pump once we get it up uh, into the truck. So let me go ahead and tighten this. All right, got my 7 8 and my 19 mil. Just gonna hold this fitting and tighten this fitting. I'm gonna just snug it down. Just gonna snug it down. <clears throat> okay, that's tight. All right, well, as I tighten this, I guess dummy me, I didn't realize that this was going to completely snug this up and this cannot turn on this fitting. So now that ponders a question, how are you going to spin this hose into this pump? Well, apparently once we get everything up into uh, the truck, before we mount this, we're going to have to spin the pump on here and then, you know, snug it with a, a wrench as we go to install it. So I guess note to self, this was really this really needs to be installed before you guys put the tank up. What I'm gonna do is uh, probably run it like this, put the tank under the truck, feed this hose over the frame, and then feed these over you know, simultaneously and, and try to uh, get orientation as, as best I can. So our next shot, we're gonna have this mounted into the vehicle and I'm gonna have this dangling over the frame and we'll show you what your next step is to completing this transfer pump install. All right, we have the tank in and the next step is to finally mount that transfer pump. Now you guys can go over the video of me installing the SMB tank already into a tremor. This is a flawless install keeping that factory skid shield and that one that they supply for you for the front of the tank. But nonetheless, if you guys come up with me over the frame, here is that 90 degree elbow that we installed on that straw tube. All right, you can see we have we have enough clearance between the body and the tank and it is running over this mount here uh, for the cab and you can see the hose okay we're going up through that plug and I'm going to show you what I did to it you have two options of what you want to do either you can completely punch out this whole thing and have room to add more things or you can just do half and run your hose through that is now going to be a fixating to the pump. Now don't forget your wiring from the pump is going to have to go back through here and down underneath the vehicle uh, to uh, eventually get to the upfitter switches so that you can control this pump. So we are going to get the pump which is right, which is right here and the associated hardware we're going to be bolting it right there to this black bracket which is in turn going to mount right there to that tie down so we're going to remove the tie down we're going to get the bracket on we're going to loosely mock this up and we're going to see what this looks like semi installed into the back of the truck but after we eat these tacos all right, on the side of the pump, there is this cover. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, 11 millis. Take this cover off and you're gonna see your pump wiring that's coming from this switch. SMB has provided you a harness and a collar that is gonna allow the wiring to pass safely through the aluminum body of the pump. What you're gonna wanna do is 
unthread these two pieces. You're gonna slide this piece onto your line. You're gonna slide the other piece with the smaller hole facing where it just came from on you know, this connector. And then you're gonna push the wire through this hole and up through this opening here. They provided two wire nuts. You're gonna put red to red, black to black. Tighten those down and simply gonna put that down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cover back on. Got, we have all these 11 millis to put back in. This one I needed a wrench that I'm doing right now because I couldn't get my socket on. But we'll just tighten all these ones down. They all got a little washer on here. Okay, 11 millis going down. This one a final snug. Boom. Like that. Okay? So now one of the last things with the wiring we're gonna do to the pump is we're gonna screw this fitting into the pump. And then no torque spec. We're not going all the way to this is flush. We're just gonna snug it down. And I like that. You're going to follow suit with this collar and you're going to screw that on. Now that's actually going to press these internals right here against this. You can see they're kind of going to bite in and then that line is not going to move. Again, we're just going to snug it down. We're not going to be over tightening it. We're working with plastics. And I'm going to match these flats up and go right, right there. All right, so that completes the wiring for the pump. We are gonna have to install our line because remember it was uh, non-twistable as we had it already installed to the tank. So we're gonna have to rotate the pump and turn uh, that into the line. And uh, then we're gonna be mounting it onto the truck. It's gonna be sitting here, pretend I'm the back window. The pump is gonna be sitting just like this with the wiring going right out the hole in the bed. All right, guys, we are going to be twisting the line into the pump. It's kind of the only thing that we can really do uh, because we didn't have any flex or that collar didn't turn on the line that we already installed, already installed into that SMB tank. So we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to need two hands, uh, two people. But we got one and one quarter size wrench for that fitting, and then uh, we'll get it uh, cinched down. We had some on-the-fly changes that we had to do. Let's sit and talk about them so that you guys don't get uh, screwed up um, with doing your install. So the video that SMB has out, actually, they have you drill a hole through the floor uh, in the bed to run your line up. Now, this gentleman didn't really want to drill a hole in the floor, so we opted to go through this body plug, which came out quite nice, and we're going to fixate it downstairs so that it's safe. But what we wound up finding, um, because they want you to drill a hole in the floor, is when you use these two bolt holes to line up with this tie down, this is too close to the floor. And it's got a pretty good kink um, because it's not high enough. If it went through the floor, you wouldn't have any kink. So we decided to maybe put one bolt here and it was just too, too floppy here in the front. The nose was going up and down. So what I thought of kind of on the fly was I wound up wedging it behind that tie down. I used one bolt hole right here at the bottom and simply pulled out all of the bolts just loose enough that I can slide that bracket behind and now I have the transfer pump mounted in a different location. It's not bouncing up and down back and forth. I mean we're really not going to be warping on this bracket. This isn't going to be coming loose out of here. I'm tugging on it pretty good. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of like this setup. Got the hose ran neatly here. Our guys 
I know some of you guys are probably going to say, you know, this is going to inhibit my, uh, you know, um, room to uh, put stuff in my bed. Well, what is better, having this little uh, milk crate sized area that you're going to have to work around or your 100 gallon transfer tank that uh, you have to keep in the bed of your truck? So this is the final, the final resting place for the transfer pump. I'm uh, pleased with how it came out. I uh, got a little uh, rubber grommet here isolating it uh, from whatever it's gonna isolate from. They actually wanted you to put that around the hole in the floor, but because we didn't use it, no, well, we're gonna use it like that. So next step, we're gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna start running the wire to the upfitter switches and uh, orientating this rubber hose in line. Uh, but I guess first maybe, yeah, let's get this hose on so we can have a fully functioning looking transfer pump in the bed of this truck. Check it out. Fully mounted, a little different than what you probably would be expecting um, following SMB's directions, but this is the PTT version without drilling any holes using what we got. I, I like it. I like how uh, I like how it works. You still have to hook the power up, but this is how you full auto. And uh, and we just go back in here like that. Check it out. All right, for the wiring, we're going to upfitter switch number four. It is the gray with brown. Gray, top one, gray with brown. I've already got it cut, prepared for the red wire going to the pump. And then I'm just gonna find any ground, uh, whether it's gonna be around this bundle or directly to the battery. So down to the wiring, we go. Okay, here we have the wiring coming out from the bed. I'm going all along down that harness all the way to the front of the vehicle. You guys see it neatly wrapped all the way around. He's got some strobe lights that were already installed on here. But I'm coming up through the fender and up to upfitter switch number six. I have that wire right here branched off to the upfitter wiring and have it going to ground. So now when he turns upfitter switch six on with the key on, he didn't want it switched to hot, then he'll be able to use his transfer pump, which again is installed right here. We're gonna get a little clip here at the end showing you guys how it works and functions, but tell me what you think about this in the comment section if you guys have ever installed the transfer pump system from SMB onto your Super Duty. Tell me what you guys think and if you got it. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya! All right, here we are. Side of the truck, transfer kit pump installed. And this is pretty much the uh, the final the final Let's test. Get this thing unwrapped. Now, if you had to fill your generator up or whatever at your site, pump's not on, but Upfitter switch number six is, and we're gonna turn the pump on, which is now gonna be drawn fuel up through our straw that you saw us install, and now we're squeezing the trigger. Let's hear the change. Look at that. Check it out. Coming out just like, just like a, a diesel pump. At the gas station, look at that. How cool is that? We have this completely shut off. We're gonna go fully empty out this nozzle, make sure we're not, not gonna be leaking anymore. We're gonna come over to uh, the little lever. We're gonna shut it off. And that, my friend, is the SMB transfer pump for your SMB tank draining out up to 40 gallons of your 60 gallon capacity to fill up auxiliary let me know if you guys are using it see ya